This is it, the last kayak tournament of the season with the group that I've been fishing with. So this is the, um, let's see here. It's about the, it's a September the 17th tomorrow. I'm over here about to organize uh, the few rods and reels that I'm gonna take with me and my uh, you know, gear, cameras. I'm going through some video footage, getting some SD cards cleaned off and uh, just kind of getting everything ready tonight. And that's how I usually do these tournaments. You wanna get everything ready, of course, the night before, but this is the last one. There's a lot of things going on with this tournament. I'm gonna be relaxed. I'm gonna grab the lures that I have confidence in, nothing fancy, nothing crazy, stuff that I think will catch fish. And I'm going to a totally new spot on a river that's kind of, uh, it's on a lake, but it's kind of up a river. I don't know if there's any current really there, but this is a totally new area I've never fished before uh, on Teleco Lake. And it's not really a lake that's known, that's really talked about. It's all the lakes around here. This one's not really mentioned much. So I'm no pressure as far as like trying to perform and I don't really care that well how well I do. I just want to go out there and catch some fish um, and have some fun. We're going to have some food afterwards. There's going to be some prizes and a lot of stuff going on. So um, it's also, it's going to be like 58 degrees in the morning. It's going to be so nice. I can't wait to, I can't wait to get up and get there. Probably going to get there a little late. I'm going to take it easy, like I said. So if you're ready to get started on this kayak journey, let's get it going. Here we go. What a day. Got no phone service. There's a, there, the ramp I picked is way out of the way, but there's somebody else here in a boat. So at least there's some other people here. So maybe my truck won't get messed with. I reeled my lure in really fast, had a good blow up. I was looking over here, there's fish blowing up over there. I've had three fish bite. I've lost all three of them. That one was a smaller one. I don't know. Had three bites, lost three fish. Yeah, I'm moving to another spot. Um, it's 1214, ends at three. Uh, probably gonna have just over two hours to fish by the time I get here and get in the water. Also, I'm heading over to where Patrick's at. It's where I was almost went originally. I guess I should have just went there. But I'm going there now. I've been there one time before, and Patrick's over there, and uh, his propeller broke, but I got an extra one I should be able to let him use for his kayak. And then the goal is to catch a fish. Just get one fish. Okay, this is it. We got like two hours to catch three fish. We gonna get it done? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, of course. Why not? So um, he got a, a new propeller, one of his blades broke off on the propeller got that on there i'm gonna i know where i'm heading i think i don't know if i can get there or not but we'll just get going dude it's shallow yep. that's why i broke my prop we going Holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. There's a big old small mouse in front of me. There's a big small mouse right there. And I had something on. Man, there's I've seen a couple good ones. Oh, I had something on that took off with it, but there's a big one right there. Like a nice 
There's a couple big ones in here. At least 15 inches they look like. 14, 15 inch at least. Is he on? Oh, I got a fish on. He's little. Thought he was big. Oh, we landed a fish today. That was like the main goal. <laughs> I got a little smallmouth way up this creek. Pretty little guy. Maybe a keeper. I may have got a keeper. Dude, I just got a keeper. <laughs> oh, had to come up way up this creek. Oh, all right, he's back in. That's okay. That's a 13 and a quarter. It's 155. We got till three, so I got an hour and five minutes left. What if I could get two more of that size out of here? Strong though. He may be big enough. Stay on there. How would if I'd have just landed that one back there? Oh yeah, that's a nice smallmouth. That's a nice creek smallie. That's probably another 13, 12, 13 inch. That one's on a Helgramite. I've been going back and forth on it. Two o'clock. Just got my sec. Just got my second smallie, or just after two. 13 and a quarter, second fish. Two 13 and a quarters. I just lost one over there, it was probably 13 and a quarter. I'm wading up the stream. I think I can get another one out of here. Need one more 12 inch or more for a limit. 210, 50 minutes of fishing left, and then I gotta book it out of here once I, once I get done to get back in time. So if I can catch another one pretty quick, I'm probably gonna go ahead and head out. There's one, there's one. Stay on, stay on. Yes, sir. Get in here, get in here. Holy cow, that's a good fish. It's a spot. <laughs> Third fish. I got a large mouth, small mouth spot, my three fish. This may be the biggest one. He's really thick. 13 and three quarter. What a tournament this is. This is a weird tournament. That's crazy that three different species up here. <laughs> it's 227. I just got my third fish. I got the limit. That's all I wanted to get. How, how did it take this long and was it this hard? Oh man, we really, I got a lot of paddle. I'm gonna have to paddle fast, but I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up here, just make a couple casts, and then I'm just gonna book it. I got a long way to paddle back out of here to get back. I got, um, we gotta be at the check-in at 4.30. Dude, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I don't care. I'm gonna go up here and make a couple casts. All right, time to book it. Got the three fish. That was after. Now I gotta get the check-in. Since I did catch three, now I do need to get to check in on time because they also are having a um, um, a biggest bass each hour. 
So I have no idea what my mine mine weren't big, but if somebody if people didn't catch fish towards the end of the day, or if they didn't catch any good ones, you know, may, maybe I can get a, a big bass for an hour. Pretty positive that um I can't I'm not gonna get any top five or anything like that, but just uh three little fish, but they were I was happy to get them. So all right, I got a lot of paddling to go. Fifth place, gonna get fifty dollars, forty-five and three-quarter inches. Charlie Mills. Okay. First off, before I get started, I want you all to know. I know some of you guys, maybe I don't know, but I want every one of you all to know that you are awesome and Jesus loves you guys. All right. You hold on to him first and foremost. Got to tell everybody Jesus loves him. All right. So, so fourth place, forty-six inches. Take it home, one hundred sixty dollars and fifty-one cents. Daniel Line. Caught a bunch of fish. They were just all small, like uh, Justin Piercy. Taking home two hundred and seventeen dollars and eighty four cents. <laughs> I got lucky and found a school of bass busting on minnows, caught them on a spook, and then the last hour just made a random cast with swim bait and caught that nineteen inch. <laughs> Second place uh, ended up at forty eight and a half inches on the day, three hundred and nine dollars and fifty six cents. Mike Ryder. I just fished there all day. Ned rig, floating worm. That's it. In first place. Eric Thomas at 52 and a half inches. So the first one we went, so this is gonna be your most improved angler. So basically what we did was take whoever fished last year, kind of compared their, how they did this year, Chris Franklin. So this one we ended up getting two sportsmanship awards. Cause that is not only one of the best fishermen in the area, but just all around good guy, Joby Berry. You guys ever need any info? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, this next person takes it a little bit further. He'll share what he does with you, he, he, but he does it in a different way. He, he actually takes you on the water with him and shows you around kind of how he catches them. Um, he's won some tournaments this year, finished really high. Has a YouTube channel if you haven't heard about him. Oh, John Creepfish Dalton. So. This is my second year fishing with y'all, and everybody's been really uh, helpful and encouraging. And I, just, I like being out here fishing with y'all, and everybody, like I said, y'all help me out a lot. So that's cool. Well, that ends up the last uh, regular season kayak tournament of the year. Uh, new, the new season starts in, uh, I think, November. So it goes fall to fall, and uh, that way they can have the tournaments right during the fall and a uh, really good time of fishing. And I got one more tournament this year right now, and that's a state tournament. But this is the last one that gives out the awards. So we did all the award ceremonies, and yeah. So I got a sportsmanship award, and I'm actually pretty happy with that. You know, a lot of times, I'm going to go ahead and say it, a lot of times when you give out a sportsmanship award, it's like you feel bad for the person. You know, here you go, good good effort. You're never going to do anything, but you tried hard. And that's what I have in my mind when I when I think of sportsmanship awards. But I actually won two tournaments. I think I'm the only guy that won two tournaments this year. And uh, I got to qualify for the state team and got to um, – I, was I wasn't I was going to win the sport. The, uh, they had an angler of the year. Joby also won that. And Josh got second. He, 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 they were really close, Josh and Daniel. There was like three guys were really close to it. I was several points away from winning that, doing that good. But it was really cool to get the uh, Sportsmanship Award. I appreciate those guys. I guess they voted on it. I'm not sure how they picked it out. And um, I appreciate that I have a good sportsmanship attitude, I guess. And um, But also compete. I, I, I hate when this, they give out a Sportsmanship Award to people that don't even, aren't competitive. you got to at least be competitive to kind of get in there and like I said, they gave out two sportsmanship awards, and Joby won Angle of the Year and the Sportsmanship Award, and so it felt good getting this one. Well, that's it. That wraps up my second year of doing this uh, kayak angler series. Next year, I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm, I'm probably going to try to stay with the same group, but there's lots of more growing kayak tournaments that I don't know if I want to try going to some of these bigger ones. They cost more to get into, and a lot of times they're further away, but I think it might be interesting to try to do some of these bigger ones and also try to stay... Uh, with the group that I'm in and qual and try to qualify maybe for state again. They only qualify like 10 guys out of the group of, there's like 30, more than 30 people. And mainly it's the guys that you have to just fish almost all the tournaments or all, all the tournaments that come across. So if, if you're consistently fishing all the tournaments, you have a good chance to uh, qualify for a state so like that. But it um it definitely is a little tough, I'd say, to get into it and, um, but you, and fish but that's, that's what you want. You want something that's a little tough to get into and uh, puts a little pressure on you. And whenever you do win, you feel good about winning a tournament. All right, well, stay tuned. Uh, more kayak stuff coming up. I may do some more changes. I don't know if I'm going to change some stuff with my kayaks. 
or uh, or like I said, tournaments or leagues or who I fish with. There's lots of different groups coming up, but uh, it's something that I'm going to try to stick with for a while, I think. And um, I'm definitely excited about, and we'll, we'll see where it goes from here. Thanks for watching.